do Discovery Walk, which is an education program. It um, does informal education learning on, in the actual zoo. So, and we have animals and interactive displays. Well, it's pretty devastating and you feel pretty um, helpless because in some cases you can't even volunteer unless you have certain types of work experience and um, different learning tools. I mean, even people who work at the zoo can't even help in some cases. But um, it's affected us to know exactly how we affect our environment and different sustainable resources we need to get involved in and how that really is a pressing issue. And that's how it's affected me to really, you know, go forth and, and talk about environmental learning. And, um, as far as the, the area, um, you notice it a lot with people who have a, a deep in, investment in it, so fisher, fisheries and oil, oystermen, and even people who work in the oil industry, they're really heavily affected. So You even have people coming in from Mississippi and other places that talk about how they're being affected. So It's, it's sad to see, but um, I think it's going to be, I mean, we're a pretty resilient area. We try to rebuild our, ourselves, so this is just another type of challenge we have to overcome. I think we have an extreme responsibility. The aquarium is actually one of our number one um, places for sea turtle and mammal rescue. So in our species survival center, um, that's where they house all of our sea turtles. We have 100 plus sea turtles right now. And so um, since that area isn't open to the public, the zoo actually has a huge responsibility to educate the public because we need to let them know that we're doing those types of efforts and that we can direct them to the links where they can get aware. We also need to show them um, different places where they can volunteer and other options. Like our sea turtle rescue station is one of our um, number one um, education tools because we're getting kids who are three and, and even younger in some cases to actually clean turtles and learn what it actually takes. You can always donate. Um, Don actually has a great website where you can donate to us and then um, you can also adopt a sea turtle, which is pretty cool. So we actually, our adoption program's been going on for a while. You can adopt everything from penguins to um, to, to rhinos. And so now we're doing sea turtles and um, you can check it out on our website. You even get, even um, National Wildlife Federation, they give you a stuffed little um, turtle and some info packets. So it's really cute. And so you can like put it on your desk and know that you've helped out a little bit. And then, um, and you can even go to Coastal Restoration Center for Louisiana and you can see how you can volunteer to help. You can even register and you can make trips down here and you can help out. You can, you know, you know, panel the, the beaches and see what else needs to be done, which is pretty cool. So.